hi welcome back to my channel um or welcome if you're new here my name is hannah i'm a mum of two a three-year-old little girl and a one and a half year old little boy um it's a wonderful time of year again guys and i've got my little christmas hair tie in because we're feeling the festivities um right guys i thought i would show you guys what bits and bobs that we have put into the kids christmas no december the first boxes yeah this is the first year we've done them because obviously last year riley was only like nine months old he ain't bothered i mean he's still not particularly bothered um he's only a year and a half old but he likes presents who doesn't like presents and obviously this isn't a bragging video you guys know me it's not bragging um you don't have to do these things christmas is still magical without all these sort of things but i just thought I'm going to give it a go this year and see how it gets on. It might be a massive flop and the kids might not like it or whether and it may not happen again. But yeah, so I've got uh, December 1st boxes for Riley and Isabella, obviously. Um, it's the, I haven't gone crazy with this stuff in them. It's just a few few little bits for them to have um, that they can obviously play with and wear and whatever. And eat um, up until... Christmas you know when they get their other presents and I literally have just gone through their presents and, you know when you feel that like mum guilt you're like oh, Isabella's got more but then Riley's got a present that was more expensive and you're just like well you know what I mean it's, it's hard but anyway that's not the meaning of this video this video is December 1st boxes I am in the spare room and it is there's, there's shit everywhere we've got all our paint who would have thought all up in there, there's a glimpse of what's in one of the boxes. Uh, paint would be so expensive. Before I moved out, I was like, I can't wait to decorate. It'll be amazing. Yeah, no, it's not cheap. Um, yeah, so we finally got all our paint. And after Christmas, when all the Christmas decorations come down, we're going to get set on painting and decorating this house because we're like, if we're going to stay here for the long haul, I mean, we've been here five years already, but I'm going on a tangent, but we're like, we may as well just decorate. So excuse the walls, excuse, it's looking messy, it's just life at the minute. But without further ado, I think we're going to get straight into it. I have got one thing, as you could probably see behind me, that is for both kids. It's just like one of the uh, book advent calendars. Um, I picked this up from B&M's literally just after Christmas last year. It does say £10 on it, but I think I paid like £5, maybe even less than that. They're literally just the perfect things. Um after christmas i buy most of my stuff i shop for christmas just after christmas you know what i mean because that's when obviously everything's reduced and i got isabella a gorgeous pair of mini pajamas hang on yeah this this isn't part of this haul she can just have these now um but yeah we got all these gorgeous christmasy pajamas i picked them up in primark last year literally just after christmas they were like I don't know, I don't think they still have a tag on them. But they were like cheap. Yeah, there's no tag on them, but I can't. I think I paid like three quid for them, something ridiculous like that. They're not part of this haul, so they can just go behind there. She can have them now. Right. Let's get into this one. Right, this one is Riley's. So Isabella has got. Well, you'll, you'll just see when we get into it. So obviously they've got this to share. This is their right book advent calendar that will like read throughout the day or whatever you know what I mean um, and then they've got like I mean I'll show you the boxes at the end because otherwise it's going to give everything away but obviously they've got their chocolate calendars is it Christmas if you don't have a chocolate advent calendar not in this house um, and I did grab these right these water wow um, books my charity shop had them in I mean I've literally had them for months I think I picked these up back in March before I even started going like work, like going back to work. Um, but yeah, these are so expensive. Anna the Melissa and Doug Brown. I think these are normally like five, six pounds each. Don't quote me on that. I could be really wrong. Um, but yeah, they were a pound each, so I just grabbed one of them. They literally just you just fill the pen up with water, and then you like just colour, colour the pages. Isabella did have one of these before, but obviously it just got. It was like. <laughs> A bunch of different things that you do. You just colour it in with the water pen and like, the colours come up. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So I grabbed one of them. 
he has got himself some little I mean this may be massive for his head but it's cute some reindeer antlers again I picked these up from Poundland just after Christmas this year just after Christmas last uh, I don't know uh, after last Christmas I picked it up so they were like 50p or something ridiculous like that obviously he has his matching pajamas um that we all have a set of if you saw that home bargain tool I can't help it I'm a sucker for matching pajamas I think this is our fourth year yeah fourth year I want to say of matching pajamas yeah and I can't help it I just I can't help it um he has got himself a little jumper Again, that I picked up from Tesco's just after Christmas last year. It was down from twelve pound. Uh, no, yeah, down from twelve pounds to six pounds. It's got little dinosaurs on. He's obsessed with dinosaurs. Um, absolutely obsessed with them. Obviously, you gotta have your your Christmas coins. It's these white chocolate ones. You always gotta have them, don't you? I picked him up this little Christmas stories book from Home Bargains. Again, this was like last year uh, for 69p. I think it's pretty cute. It's a massive, massive book. Um, obviously, these are more books that we will keep aside and read to him rather than him read himself. Um, if you saw my last Audi's haul. Oh, you see that? Maybe that's the beginning of Vlogmas. Maybe you'll see that one tomorrow. I don't know. Um, I can't remember what videos have come up when, but uh, yeah, you saw that I grabbed these little chocolate penguins for them that they could just nibble on, and you can see the reflection of the camera in the penguin's face. That's fine. Um, these were like three pounds, I think. Well, they were three pounds. Three pounds? Four pounds. I don't remember. There we go, yeah. I don't remember. Three pounds or four pounds, but he will love that. And then the final thing that he's got is just another book. It's just a slightly bigger one. Again, I got it from the charity shop at the beginning of the year. Um, obviously, when they were getting rid of their Christmas stock, and it was only a pound. So, I mean, it's in pretty good nick. I did have a look at it oh, when I first bought it. But, but yeah, I think it's just pretty cute. Um, yeah, it's a pretty cute little thing. And then, obviously, the little... Oh, I've got such an itchy nose. These are the little boxes that I picked up for them from Home Bargains in the Home Bargains online haul. Um, I think they're real cute. And then obviously the top says special delivery from the North Pole. This box belongs to blah, blah, blah. Obviously I won't write on it because I'm not into writing on things like that. But I think they were like four quid and they're a decent size. Um, yeah, so that is what Riley is having. Um, unbeknownst to him, he says he sat downstairs with his dad. Um, obviously, like I say, you haven't got to do these things. It's just it's just personal preference in it. But I just thought it'd be something cute to do for the kids this year. Um, we'll see how it gets on if we do it again next year. I don't know. And this video may give you some ideas because I was stuck to no end of what to get the kids. I'm still kind of stuck, but I feel like they've got quite a bit now that it's like, I don't know, when do you stop, you know what I mean? You know, when you just feel like, especially, I feel like when you've got more than one kid, you always have that mum guilt of, oh, they've got more, but theirs is more expensive, but the, you know what I mean? And it's hard to... Anyway, moving on. We've got Isabella's little box now. So obviously she's got her, her Christmas pyjamas um, as well. She's got a little head bobber, head bobber, headband thing. Again, I got this in Poundland just after Christmas last year, so they were like 50p. She's got her little Parker the Penguin. Um, it's just a hollow milk chocolate thing. They did have like, you know, like the hot chocolate bombs and things like that, but my kids are too young for that kind of stuff, so I just went with that. Um, she's got her little Christmas jumper that she can start wearing to nursery uh, after she opens this. This was down from £14 to £8, but I thought it was pretty cute. Again, she's got a little Christmas stories book. 
69p from home bargains last year it says on the back the retail is £2.99 that is mental um she's got one of these little water works again i picked it up from the charity shop for a pound this one is the animals one riley's had the space one i think uh adventure he had the here's the adventure one she has the safari one i'll share maybe we'll see um now this is the only thing different that she's got that he doesn't have is a paint by numbers thing obviously i don't expect her to paint by numbers um, she will just paint as in what she likes with what she wants um, but yeah again this was in pound land for like actually I think after Christmas everything went down to 25p so everything from pound land to this the head headband things um, were like 25p so for that price I was like at the time of picking this up I was like I don't really know how like advanced she'll be with her de uh, painting and things like that but she's pretty good to be honest with you um, we do have a few slip ups sometimes but it's fine she's still at me three but yeah I thought that was pretty cute for her obviously her chocolate coins she's so excited bless her for uh, seeing Santa we're going to take him to see Santa soon um, at the time of watching this we would have been to see Santa we'd still be on holiday but we would have been to see Santa I'm pretty certain I don't really know my dates are all over the place at the minute but um, anyway yeah just grabbed a book for her as well in uh, from the charity shops which was just a pound um I, was, I, I like them to have their books and things like that and when they're that nice age that you can like, read to them and stuff I just think it's really cute um and she's obsessed absolutely obsessed with Santa Claus at the minute and then the final thing that she has again that Riley had is just a advent calendar I just couldn't couldn't think about what it was then but yeah just an advent calendar um yeah so that is everything like i said it's just a few bits most of this i picked up either from charity shops or from pound land just after christmas so um they don't care today it's just something something fun for the, the kids to open um that i know they're gonna love because they love presents and things like that i mean what child doesn't but um yeah guys as usual i will link all my socials down below if you fancy follow me over on instagram or anything um I feel like my views have either, either my videos aren't good and people don't like watching my videos anymore or I don't know something's happened with YouTube but my last like four or five videos have been like the lowest of views I've ever had I think so maybe it's YouTube I want to blame YouTube I don't really want to think that it's me and that people are like and just not liking my content but maybe that's the case I don't know you guys let me know in the comments um and also Hopefully, I'm going to do Vlogmas, we'll see, um, with work and stuff. I'm going to try my hardest, guys. Um, but let me know if there's any kind of videos you'd like me to film over Vlogmas. It just, I'm just, I've got a few video ideas, but obviously I don't want to do like the same things. You know what I mean? Um, so if you guys have any ideas, please feel free to let me know. It will be, I'll be very grateful for it. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, until next time. Bye.